to time form handicap chase for horses rated between zero and one thirty here. It's three mile four furlongs to travel here at Haydock. Shellac Citron, the favourite for Darren Thompson. We're going to follow up with uh, Nashara Blitz's win in the last eyes of the world. Leon Van Rensburg, Robin Knights, the Darren Thompson Lord Butt. Jim Murray, Labanese, Craig Beckwith, Plain, Lukey, Martin Leadham, Orgerman, Prejudice, James Shea, Cadbean, Ryan Costello, Motta for Red Dene, Alex Cherry and Denison Denial for Graham Clutterbuck. Off and running here at Haydock. So we've got the time form handicap chase here, three mile, four furlongs to go uh, before we then head on to the two feature races, the fixed brush handicap hurdle and the big one, the Lancashire chase, as they get over the first flight. Oh, we'll navigate that one safely. It's Orgerman Prejudice in the old green silks that's got that early lead. Just racing on the rail on the inside of Denison Denial for Graham Clutterbuck. Gap of a length and a half back to Plain Lukey as they come over the next flight. All of it over safely. Sheila Citron put in an eye catch at leap at the rear of the field for Darren Thompson. Really attacked that one and got over it very quickly indeed. But it's Orgerman Prejudice still in the lead from Denison Denial. The two back markers at the moment are Robin Knights and Labanese as they come over the next flight again all over that safely and a pretty good round of jumping from all of these horses so far but there's still a good 18 or so flights left to navigate eyes of the world for Leon van Rensburg just racing in fourth at the moment in the dark blue silks and the yellow hat as they pass what will be the winnings post come towards the end of this race but still a good three miles left to travel and not, not often you'll see a, a runner from the champion trainer's stable in a Nauta 130 handicap but all eyes will be on eyes of the world here today as that one's racing off a pretty decent mark and could be competitive here it's still Orgerman Prejudice that's shaken off Denison Denial for this early lead and has the outright lead of a length and a half to two lengths over Denison Denial as they come to the next but an awkward jump from Orgerman Prejudice uh, didn't get over that one well at all and that allowed Denison Denial to just move up and pass Orgerman Prejudice and the jockey just making sure that Orgerman Prejudice doesn't surrender that lead and goes up alongside Denison Denial who almost went there, took off far too early, went down on his nose on landing and Orgerman Prejudice put in a much better leap and regained the outright lead so Orgerman Prejudice has a lead of one and a half lengths but Denison Denial is looking to try and close it as they go over the next the leaders both got over it safely not a good jump from uh, Modifered Dene, which was really poor over that one and that relegated that one towards the rear of the field where it's joined Robin Knights and Labanese so back at the front it's Orgerman Prejudice that still maintains that advantage of a length and a half over Denison Denial as they get over the next Cadbean has made a bit of progress up on the rail for Ryan Costello on the inside of Plain Lukey Lord Boot racing in the centre there in the middle of the track as they get over the next we've lost Denison Denial made a bad mistake looked as though the jockey might maintain the partnership but then just exited in the side door uh, looks to be uh, up and walking gingerly there the jockey so hopefully not nothing too serious as they swing left handed Orgerman Prejudice now has a lead of four lengths given the exit the departure of Denison Denial and Plain Lukey is just racing alongside that loose horse Martin Leadham's runner uh, Lord Boot on the outside of that one as they all get over the next Robin Knights was ridden for a few strides out the back of that fence uh, didn't get over it as quick as some of the others uh, a few technical difficulties there just getting a little bit of sketchy video but they all got over that safely I think Lord Boot might have uh, made not a, not a serious error but wasn't as quick over it as some of its rivals here today and that one's still racing alongside Eyes of the World who's been travelling very strongly throughout just cruising along here for the champion trainer as they come over the next really good jump from Lord Boot that sprung that one back up into third place and just in behind Sheila Citron who is racing a good three or four lengths in behind Orgerman Prejudice, the long-time leader. Cadbean still has the rail in the green and white silks for Ryan Costello as they all get over the next. Plain Lukey, a good jump there and moves back up into a share of second alongside Shella Citron and Labanese. And that one's Martin Leadham's runner in the red and yellow silks and yellow hat. Cadbean still has the rail as they pass what will be the winning post in a circuit's time. A few fans have made their way over into the centre of the track uh, on the side of the rail to get up close and personal with some of these runners and riders as they start to swing left-handed and make their way out into the Haydock Park. 
away from the stands. So it's Orgham and Prejudice that still has the lead, but a slightly diminished lead now of only a couple of lengths to play in Lukey Cadbean. Eyes of the World has moved over and is now racing alongside the loose horse of Dennis in Denial, but over towards the rail and is going to have a lot of horses in front of it, uh, whereas before it was racing out wide and didn't really have anything in front of it. So the jockey's given a supremely confident ride on Eyes of the World, but the proof will be in the pudding when they start to make their way left-handed back towards the stands. We've lost another one there, Cad being put in an awful jump, and the horse went down on its neck there and... Uh, Looks to be in a bit of discomfort there, as does the jockey, so hopefully the runner and rider are okay. Ryan Costello looking on, uh, really hopeful that there's nothing too serious there with the uh, with the horse or the jockey. So Algerman Prejudice still has the lead. Robin Knights, who was a back marker for much of the race, is now moved up menacingly, but stealthily into a share of second place and is now edged on in front of Sheila Citron and is in outright second and tracking Orgaman Prejudice and travelling really strongly but a slow jump there allowed Sheila Citron to pass it and relegated Robin Knights to be alongside Moda Refed Dané. Uh, so a couple of the early back markers are now really making some headway here and are now the main challenges to Orgaman Prejudice as we come in the final five and a half furlongs. Moda Red Dané and Robin Knights are ridden towards the rear of the field and now looking like real dangers in second and third as is Plain Lukey who's hugging the rail there and taking the short way around for Martin and lead him. Lies of the world has now gone right out to the outside and is racing widest of all and the jockey's getting to work on that one. Same can be said of Labanese but they're both staying on. Uh, they get over that. They all got some air time there but Sheila Citron wasn't too good over that and that one made a big mistake at a bad time and has lost a lot of momentum and is now going backwards for Darren Thompson. So Orgerman Prejudice now has shaken off a lot of these challenges but oh we've lost Eyes of the World just as it was challenging for Leon Van Rensburg. I was just about to say that one was the one that was going to look the main danger with Lord Boot, but it put in a poor jump and got rid of the jockey. But with just a couple of flights to go, Orgaman Prejudice finally surrenders that lead to Lord Boot for Jim Murray as they come over the next. The horse really attacked that one really well and went under pressure. It was a great leap from the leader, Lord Boot. Labanese trying to stay on well on the outside. We're into the final furlong and a half. And in fact, we're about to hit the furlong marker and just one flight left to jump here. Jockey gets high over the horse, gets high over that, and that allowed Labanese to start making a challenge again on the outside but everything else looks beat so it's between Lord Butt and Labanese trying to fight back on the outside as they come towards the line it's going to be tight this one but Lord Butt does enough holds off Labanese really gamely for Jim Murray there we'll need the photo finish to confirm but I think the horses battle back really gamely after getting a bit too high at that last flight and letting Labanese really make a challenge Lord Boot has held it off really well. Wins this time form handicap chase for Jim Murray. Labanese in second, Craig Beckwith. Orgerman Prejudice third for James Shea. Mott of Rafed Dene in fourth for Alex Cherry. Plain Lukey completes your top five for Martin Leadham.